For me, the main benefit of space to humanity is how unifying it can be. I think space exploration not only allows humans to leave the cave and become more adventurous and find out what's beyond the horizon, but also it allows us to find questions that we didn't even know existed. I can't think of a better way to unite the best, the smartest, the brightest minds of humanity, irrespective of nation, and bring them together. The vastness of space can help provide some perspective on how small we are and help us connect with the planet around us, help us see our, our place in the world and in the time that we're alive. Space travel isn't about your nationality, it isn't about where you're from, it's about humanity coming together and doing something as a group which is amazing and hasn't been done before. I think the reason why so many people love the idea of going into space is probably discovery, finding out new things. And it's not just to be limited to chemistry and mathematics, but in every type of subject, like philosophy. It will help people because we need to get other resources in case our resources come to end in this planet. I believe exploration creates opportunity, opportunity for discovery, development, not just technology, but human development and the way that we relate to each other. Uh, I think this would give humans the wisdom that it desperately needs. I guess when I was younger I thought that space travel meant going on holiday to the moon. You know what they're doing up there on like the ISS? No. They're doing a whole bunch of tests on bacteria and stuff like that to help create antidotes and things <laughs> to attack viruses and basically cure sickness. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to other planets, little planets and stars and goodness knows what. Challenging that we know what we know and that's all we need to know. It says I want to know more. It's based on that belief that there is more, more to explore, more to learn and that it's worth taking a risk to find that out. Well the benefits I think of this is that we might find life on other planets. It would be cool if we could find another universe. That would be cool. The multiverse. It also scares me, you know, the insignificance it poses. But with this also comes a great appreciation of my life. Regardless of your nationality or your religion or your politics, we're all one species, we're all Earthlings. Explore and see if there is any life in other planets. I'm trying to find the classic, is there any life out there? They might be more intelligent than we are, therefore they might have the answers to things that we don't. To face the ultimate challenge, and that's to find life elsewhere, to settle elsewhere, to go and explore and understand the infinite possibilities of life in the universe. It all depends on life, I feel. It allows the preservation of humanity for us to kind of leave this, this earth and live elsewhere and make new homes for new colonies. To explore a place, obviously it has to be a rocket. So what we need is stronger and farther and faster rockets. We need to find alternatives. We need to develop and learn and grow. And if we need to explore outside of our planet to do that, then that's where we need to be. We're such a tiny, tiny speck. And it's such a difficult, you know, until 50 years ago, thought to be nigh an impossible task. How can that not be conceived to be something that we, we absolutely need to do and where our future lies? Whenever we reach further into the unknown, we also drive progress here on Earth with the benefits rippling throughout our society. Learn about engineering and science and the, the peripheral discoveries that make space travel enabling. Should that be material science with new heat absorbing materials for the space shuttle or if that's computer technology for working out how we're going to get to planets and just learning how humans are going to cope with potentially being isolated. We learn a lot about ourselves doing that. Along with that comes finding things along the way, or if they're trying to find resources or planets which we can inhabit. It'll be a lot easier, especially with using, reusing the parts of the rockets and things that has been used before. It makes it a bit cheaper as well, and I think uh, it's going to expand and it's going to be more and more uh, space travel. If I'm hopeful, I see many different colonies of humans living around the solar system, not just on one planet, but on moons of planets, on Mars and beyond. We're looking at incremental steps to, to Mars, getting landers, getting small man teams there. Well, I think that people are definitely going to have to go to Mars soon. Mm -hmm. 
because I think there actually used to be water there. That's what they've been finding. Yep. Frozen ice caps. <laughs> Space exploration represents the best in humanity. It's that passion, that drive, that collaboration, that desire for knowledge, for truth. But there's one that's actually close enough that in a couple of generations we can fly to. Yeah, I think they're actually trying to find people to fly there and it's going to take like 90 light years. Mm -hmm. Which is like a lot of time for us to actually fly there. Yeah, an entire lifetime for mm -hmm. someone. There would be people that would be on the spaceship that would have been born on there that would still that would die on the spaceship. Yeah. That would be crazy. You just live your life on a spaceship. Well, if I could take my family with me, uh, yes, I'd, I'd go. But uh, if not, I, would, I wouldn't go because um, I would want us to all be together, whatever happens.